Uh, we'll go back a long time, starting the international team, same night, Betchfield, Swansea, 1964. Finished up beating Wales 3-2. Um, my mate at Tottenham and I still work with Cliff Jones, I never miss an opportunity to remind him. But uh, I was still at Watford at that time and George was at Man U, obviously just breaking into the team, so I'd only read about him. And uh, once I got on the training field with the men, you could see that he was going to be a real special talent. And it went on from there. I mean, we've all seen the bits and pieces of stuff. Him at Windsor Park, whenever he kicked the ball out of uh, Gordon Banks' hand and scored the goal and matches at Chelsea against the great Chelsea team where Chop Horace comes across, nearly cuts him in two and he rides the tackle, goes on and drops his shoulder against another defender and slots it back past Peter Benetti. I mean, there's just so many occasions and nowadays I can still see the players would still be rolling over nowadays, you know, but George was, he was that sort of player, you couldn't kick him out of it. People that kicked him, he would come back to me and say, give us the ball. And I would give it to him and he would run straight at the people that were kicking him to make little, little of them. That was what he was like. And so uh, what little skills about him do you think? He just done everything a yard quicker than everybody else. Pace-wise, controlled it quicker, could run quicker. Whatever way it came to him, that was, that was his talent. And uh, mm -hmm. I mean, he could do everything. And as I said, done it much quicker than everybody else. A uh, famous game in, in Rotterdam, where whenever he was back at Fulham, the press guys were questioning whether he was good enough to come back and play at international level. And it was a great team in the Eskins rep and the Kirkhoffs, that great Dutch team. And he absolutely ran the game that night. We finished up drawing two each with that great team in Rotterdam. And as I say, George ran the game that night. Uh, that was the team that went on to play in the 78 World Cup finals against Argentina. And what was it like for you watching him on the pitch? Obviously, you being goal, watching him doing his stuff. What, what were you thinking in your mind? Well, there's one watching? thing. BBC Sports Night opens up with me every, every other night. And I've gone out, missed, punched the ball, punched it down, and then followed it out because I was the nearest to him. And he had his back to goal, and somehow he got it over the top of me. And we had two players that dropped back on the line. And he managed to get, them over the, get it over the top of them as well. But... Uh, he was just to say, just a natural. And for me, my one regret for him is that he didn't play in, in, uh, in more internationals and didn't make the 82 World Cup team, never played in the World Cups. I would have loved him to, to have been part of that. And so what was, the, what was his character like off the pitch? Jimmy Nicholl was saying how he was a quiet, but yet humble and nice Yeah, absolutely. Being. Same George that I met on the first international as he was. I think he played 37, 38 times. He was still the same George at the end of it. Didn't expect any special treatment. Uh, was a lovely lad. If some parent of that come and said he had a sick kid in the hospital, would you, any chance you'd go and visit him? George, yeah, no problem. That was what he was like.